Welcome to this edition of Models to Ace, presenting an Excel spreadsheet based simulated model to predict criticality indices of paths and activities in a project, illustrated using brute force evaluation and smart simulation scenarios. Let us walk through the sections in the spreadsheet. This is the first tab titled AON graph in the spreadsheet. This is the tabular form of representing the activities in the project, the dependency relations among those activities and the duration of activities. This activity on node diagram gives a visual representation of the project and its constituent activities. Activities are depicted on the nodes of the graph using colored boxes. The duration of each activity is not a fixed predetermined number of days, rather we have a range of likely values mapped in column E, the last column in the AON table against the corresponding activity. Each possible duration value has a corresponding probability of occurrence, indicating its likelihood. These are specified in column D, the third column in the AON table. In the second tab titled Deterministic Evaluation in the spreadsheet, we generate the exhaustive set of combinations of all possible values that activities A through H can last for. 90,000 possible combinations of activity values exist for those listed here. The critical path is evaluated for each member of this population of 90,000 combinations. We then derive the criticality indices of paths and activities. Clearly, this is a brute force approach and is prohibitively resource intensive. Fortunately, there are methods using which we can avoid evaluating the population of 90,000 possible scenarios. Simulation allows us to generate a convenient sample and base our analysis on that instead of on, on the exhaustive set. This is what we do in tab 3 titled Simulation Independent Trials of Independent Events. Finally, in the third tab titled Simulation Data Sheet, we automate the repeated invocation of the model generation and recording outputs of such a large number of trials using Excel's data table function. This is a smart approach in terms of consumption of computing and human resources. The first tab titled AON Graph consists of the table to the left and the directed graph to the right. On to the left, the table named AON table lists out the 8 activities in the project along with data on those activities. This data is the input to the model. The project is visually depicted in the graph to the right. This graph represents activities on its nodes connected to predecessors by directed arrows. Let us walk through the sections in the tab titled AON graph. On to the left, the table named AON table lists out 8 activities in the project, named A through H in the first column. The project is visually depicted in the graph to the right. Data regarding activity or node A in the graph is available in the table, rows 3 to 6. Similarly, for activities B, C, D, E, F, G and H, two dummy nodes labeled start and end are inserted to indicate the terminal extremes of the network of nodes. Start indicated day 0. Activity A being the first activity has no predecessor. Activity B is preceded by A and can start only after A has completed. This dependency is visually depicted by the directed arrow originating from node A and terminating on node B. Activity E has two predecessors in B and C. Thus, activity E can start only after the later of the end times of B and C has elapsed. In other words, activity E cannot start unless both B and C have ended. The last column of AON table lists out the range of closely related possible durations of each activity. For example, activity A can last for either 4 days at a minimum or 5 days or 6 or 7 at most. This implies that activities B, C and D can start only after either 4, 5, 6 or 7 days have elapsed since the start of the project. Similarly, activity B can last for either of 13, 14, 15, 16 or 17 days. 
the third column of the AON table lists out the lower bound of the range of probability of occurrence of each of the possible durations of an activity. The possible durations for activity A range from the lowest value of 4 days to a maximum of 7 days. The duration value of 4 has a range of probabilities between a lower bound of 0 and a ceiling of 0 0.05. The upper bound for the probability range of 4 obviously coincides with the lower bound of the range for the next value that is 0 0.05. This activity on node diagram is a directed acyclic graph which gives you a visual representation of the relative ordering among the activities and their dependencies. It represents the sequence of activities from the start of the project leading up to its end. Obviously, the upper bound of the highest value for the duration is unity. Thus, for activity A, the value of 7 has a range of probabilities between the lower bound of 0.65 shown alongside value 7 and the upper bound of unity. The duration values and their probabilities are arranged as shown to facilitate VLOOKUP when the model constructs a table of actual durations based on the random chance value. The tab titled Deterministic Evaluation invokes our model for each of the 90,000 possible combinations of the activity durations. For each member of this exhaustive set, the model calculates the lengths of the possible alternative routes from start to finish. Based on the path lengths, the model determines the critical path and its length. The number of times a certain path such as ABEH becomes the critical path divided by the total population size of 90,000 gives the criticality index of that path. The number of times an activity lies on a critical path divided by the total population size of 90,000 gives the criticality index of that activity. Having calculated path lengths and critical path length and determined criticality of paths and activities at the level of each trial, the model then computes aggregate level metrics such as average activity durations, average path lengths, average critical path lengths, criticality indices of paths and activities. This is heavy work being performed on 90,000 trials. The brute force approach exacts a heavy toll on Excel's resources and may cause temporary unresponsiveness. Hence, we aptly call this work horse model. The first table on the extreme left-hand section of the tab, titled Deterministic Evaluation, contains the exhaustive set of all the 90,000 possible combinations of durations of activities A through H. Obviously, row 2, columns A through H, give the population mean of these activity durations. For each combination or set of activity durations, the model computes the lengths of the possible paths from start to finish. A, B, E, H, A, B, F, G, H, A, C, E, H, A, C, F, G, H, and A, D, F, G, H. Row 2, columns K through O, give the population mean of these path lengths. In column R, the model computes the length of the critical path, which is the simple min minimum of the path lengths computed in the same row of the previous table. The model calculates the population mean of these values in cell R2. The rows in the critical path length table, column R values less than the mean in cell R2 are color coded in green. Values exceeding the mean are shaded in red. Having determined the length of the critical path, the model goes on to identify the critical path among the paths ABEH, ABFGH, ACEH, ACFGH and ADFGH. The identified critical path is highlighted in red. Having determined the critical path, the model goes on to identify activities that lie on the identified critical path. The cells corresponding to these activities are highlighted in red. The model then computes the criticality indices of these activities in row 2, column Z through AE. The model then computes the criticality indices of these paths in row 2, columns T through X. In the tab titled Simulation Independent Trials of Independent Events, we avoid evaluating the population of 90,000 possible scenarios. 
Instead, we employ simulation to generate a random sample of 1000 trials and repeat the same set of evaluations we performed in the brute force approach on this sample instead. The model calculates path length and critical path length and determines the criticality of paths and activities at the level of each trial. The model then computes aggregate level metrics such as average activity durations, average path lengths, average critical path lengths, criticality indices of paths and activities. The AON table is reproduced in columns A through D. The eight activities A through H are listed out in column A of the table, followed by the corresponding predecessor activities in column B. The last column in AON table lists out the range of closely related possible durations of each activity. For each trial, we generate a separate of 8 random numbers for instantiating the durations of the 8 activities. A set of such chance values are generated for each of the 1000 trials. This is shown in the table spanning columns F through M. To automate the generation of the rows of this table, we use a sequence of auto-generated integers from 1 through 1000 obscured in column E by using the same font color as the cell backgrounds. We invoke the Excel function RAND to generate the set of 8000 uniformly distributed positive random numbers between 0 and unity. Using these random values, the model generates the table of corresponding actual activity durations in the blue color table in columns O through V. For example, the random chance value generated for the duration of activity A in the first trial is 0.86 shown in cell H1. Looking at the cumulative probability column corresponding to activity A, 0.86 lies in the range bounded by 0.65 on the lower side and unity on the ceiling. So the model picks the corresponding value of 7 to generate the value of actual activity duration column H for activity A. This is how the model constructs the blue color table of actual activity durations in columns O through V. Obviously, row 2 columns O through V give the sample mean of these activity durations. For each combination or set of activity durations, the model computes the lengths of possible paths from start to finish ABEH, ABFGH, ACEH, ACFGH and ADFGH. Row 2 columns X through AB give the sample mean of these path lengths. The model calculates the sample mean of these values in cell AE2. In the rows in the critical path length table, column AE values less than the mean in cell AE2 are color coded in green. Values exceeding the mean are shaded in red. Having determined the length of the critical path, the model goes on to the identify the critical path among the paths ABEH. ABFGH, ACEH, ACFGH, and ADFGH. The identified critical path is highlighted in red. Having determined the critical path, the model goes on to identify activities that lie on the identified critical path. The cells corresponding to these activities are highlighted in red. The model then computes the criticality indices of these activities in row 2 columns Z through AE. The model then computes the criticality indices of these paths in row 2 columns T through X. In the tab titled Simulation Data Sheet, we avoid generating 8000 random numbers and performing an equal number of VLOOKUPs. Instead, we employ simulation to generate a sample of two values. We then use Excel's data table function to automate the generation of a smaller sample of size 99. Thus, we automate the construction of blue color table of activity durations for 99 trials. The model then performs the remaining computations as done for the previous two tabs. This is the smart limited simulation method with few two chance values as opposed to generating 8000 random chance values.
Thank you for giving Models to Ace the opportunity to serve you with our analytical models. Please subscribe to our channel.